What is going on, Kferos? Welcome back to another video. I'm in the Bahamas. To be specific, I'm in Atlantis, Bahamas. Look at these boats right here. My goodness. Anyway, this place is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. We literally just flew in. And why am I here? Well, it's home of some of the largest aquariums in the entire world. And when I mean large, I mean large. So stay tuned. We're going to go downstairs right now and get to tour in some of the craziest ponds and aquariums you've probably ever seen full of stingrays, turtles, sharks, grouper, you name it. It's in these waters and you don't want to miss it. Let's get to it. Not sure where we're going. We're going somewhere. We're up here. There's the line. Straight down. We are, we are pretty up here, boys and girls. Caferos, <laughs> you can't see anything right now. Yay, we're in the lazy river now. <laughs> that was so dope. That was pretty crazy, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't expect the second launch. Oh my <laughs> ass, dude. <laughs> On another ride and uh, check this out straight down is all the sharks we're gonna be going right through that here in just a second Midnight the cat. Just found this guy by the shower. See you later, hermit. Taking a stroll back to the hotel and came across this. I probably shouldn't walk out here, but I'm going to. Look at the size of that thing. Wow. That is crazy to be that close to something that big. Wow. Highly endangered species right there. It's kind of just fish like everywhere you walk. I mean, this is just a pathway. And it's crystal clear. Salt water everywhere. If only this was my backyard. I will have a lot of fun here, guys. <laughs> some bottom rays, some cow nose rays. The cow nose rays must have had pups. Look how tiny. Look at how tiny they are. This guy is like, I know you guys feed me. I'm over here. I don't have food though. Sorry. There's a conch right there. Hey, you had a conch salad yesterday. I did. <laughs> this house. I honestly don't feel like it's in like... It doesn't feel real. What do you think that is? It's, well, air prime are... No, no, no. Air prime is fresh. Fresh water. Come on, I go catch them all the time. I go fishing for these all the time. What? Tarpon? What? Tarpon? Yes. Training her well. Tarpon. I'm so glad that I brought the camera. I almost didn't bring the camera. And I was like, I feel like I'm gonna see some of the craziest stuff ever. We're going to Atlantis, you know, in the Bahamas. I know there's fish and stuff. It looks like this window's under here. We gotta get under there. We're going under there. Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> we found the way down. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Take a look at this. We are now down, but oh, look at the salt fish. Oh, there's a bear. I said, I was like, how is there no barracuda? There is one right there. Tarpon. We love our tarpon. Grandpa Pops is back over here now. He said, hey, how's it going, everyone? It's really cool because they have signs like this that explain what kind of sharks are in these tanks. Same thing over here as I casually walk by monster fish swimming by, but same thing over here. They have this sign. If this give you a better size comparison when Taylor's holding the camera, look how big this thing is. It's massive. This permit. You got some permit coming around now. I've always wanted to catch one of these. It's caught babies, nothing big though. The decoration here is just crazy. Hopefully you're alive. Are you alive? This right here is the tunnel that I have been waiting to see. Look at this tunnel. <laughs> How crazy is that? You see everything. They do need to get in here and scrub it a little bit, but I'm sure it's hard to maintain with this natural sunlight. Oh, look at all the snapper that hide underneath the rocks. Looks like these are just big old grunt. Massive run. Now I feel like it's necessary for them to have these schools of fish to keep it like it's in the wild, you know? If the fish really want to feed on their own, they'll just come in here and 
bite down. All of the water here is completely constantly coming from the ocean and then going back out to the ocean and then more water is coming in. So it's circulating fresh water at all times, hence why they can keep it so clean. Check that out. Wow. That might be the coolest thing. I give massive credit to whoever uh, silicone this right here. Kept me alive for a little bit. Oh, what is this? There's just a bunch of different ways to see what's inside. Goliath grouper right there. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How crazy is that? That thing is massive. That is the biggest Kubera snapper. Oh my gosh, he's coming right to us. Wow. That is nuts. Look at that huge fish. Look, we were just in that tunnel. You can see people walking through it now. That's crazy. So we just popped over to the other side of where we were, and now you can see a whole different side of this aquarium. Fish just everywhere. And Taylor's got another place for us to check out. Hammerhead Our tour guide, shark. Hammerhead Shark. Look at the tarpon in the shallow water circling each other. Look at them. They're oh, vibing. Oh, with the hammerhead. Yeah. There is him over there. Okay. Oh my gosh, this place just never ends. I'm, I'm, in, I'm amused. Whoa! Check this out. You know, maybe I'll just start doing travel vlogs. You know? Travel in the world, venturing videos like this. Look, Taylor turned her head and said, yeah, let's do it. Let me know what you guys think of this video, these types of videos where we, we could just travel around the world and film cool aquariums. Smash the like button if you wanna see stuff like that. It's a little hard for me to leave the farm. Uh, I've been gone for like a week and a half traveling. We were in Texas, then we were in New York, and now we're in the Bahamas. All right, here we have a bunch of mangroves growing. There's a little mangrove nursery right here, which is really awesome because in Florida, we even take our mangrove growth very, very serious. I've grown a couple of them in a fish building before. They grow really, really well in fresh water, as a matter of fact. Although this is obviously salt water, lots of mangroves growing too. We got some nurse sharks right here. That's cool right here. I think it goes around too, but nurse sharks. They like that bubbly flow from the waterfall. What's over here? Oh my gosh, there's so many sea turtles. Wow, wow. Look at they think we're feeding. Hey guys, what's up? Oh my gosh, look at them all. They were all born right here at Atlantis. That's crazy. How old are they? Three? The endangered sea turtles are part of a breeding program to support the wild population. Wow. They are beautiful too, look at the color. I'm not gonna lie, we've seen a lot today. Like, a lot's an understatement to be honest with you. This turtle pond, what they call Kumbay Lagoon, is probably the coolest thing I've seen yet. I love my fish and all, but to see a baby sanctuary full of little green sea turtles is the coolest thing ever. This dude's literally climbing up to see me. Do I look like the guy that feeds you guys? Do they wear green shirts or something? Because I'm sorry, I don't have food. If I did, I'd feed you. I saw baby turtles and I dumped my $7 water on the ground. I'm kind of sad about that. But anyway, this is the other side. And these are even smaller. They don't even know how to swim straight yet. They put their arms behind their shell. Look at that. He's like, yo, chilling in the water. They remind me of the ones from Nemo. Yeah, they like, do. Shaka, dude. What does he say? Totally, dude. Totally. Look at this place, man. It doesn't even feel real. Oh, holy smokes. If you look real closely, big old bottom rays. We can get close to them right here, look. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, black tip. There's no boundaries. They really don't care if you fall in here. Hey guys, what's up? This is exactly what I want. Like imagine having this in your backyard. You have to have a pretty big backyard, but still. I mean, oh my goodness. This thing is as far as the eye can see. Look at that. Oh, I'm in really, I'm really in paradise. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is millions of gallons, Taylor. Wow. Look at all those pork fish. Those are all pork fish. Oh, hello there, tarpon. My goodness. What's crazy to me is the amount of water capacity in the open, like the sun, right? And they can maintain it like this. Yeah, and they, they maintain it. This glass, look how thick the glass is. So it's probably like 15 inches thick. 
We continue to just see so many amazing things there at Atlantis. It was a great time, especially the dolphins. All in all, an amazing trip to the Bahamas. We're back home now, and we're actually gonna be in New York in the next video. Make sure you subscribe down below if you have yet to do so. Smash the like button if you enjoy the travel stuff and you wanna see more. Hello, little fishies. We are back home, and my goodness, I cannot wait to get this right here done. Last video, we finished up the saltwater pond. If you didn't watch it, well, now you see it, but go check out the video, it is awesome. Sand is in. And I called the guy for water, and he doesn't have 300 feet worth of hose. So I have to purchase the hose on my own to get from the building in my backyard to the very front of the street. Which I think I'm going to need regardless for water changes and everything, so it's kind of worth buying it. But yeah, it's a little delay on the water. Otherwise, a few days from now, this is going to be filled up with salt water and get to cycling so we can get fish for the 4,000 gallon saltwater tank. Pond. Aquarium. I do it every time. Love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you right back here in the next one. Peace.